Critical reasoning is the part of the test where you have a very short argument and then a question. And the question is something like, which of the following best serves as the conclusion of the argument? Or what is the assumption in the above argument? Or what can be inferred from the above argument? Or how could we weaken the above argument? In other words, it's a short text, maybe two, three sentences, and then a question asking about the inferences, assumptions, or any other part of the argument. Now, before we start looking at questions, there's a number of things we need to do first. And I think firstly, we need to talk about what an argument is, okay? An argument is any text where an author presents his or her view and then brings facts to support that view, okay? So an argument is any text where the author is giving you his opinion and then providing some kind of proof, some fact to support that opinion. All right. Every argument has four parts, and that's going to be really important for us when we're uh, discussing all these kind of critical reasoning questions. So what I'm going to do now is quickly put the four parts of the argument on the board, then discuss them a little with you as a kind of overview for all the different things that make up an argument. Okay. Okay. Premises. Conclusions. Assumptions. and inferences. These are the four parts of an argument. The premises and the conclusions are written. However, the assumptions and the inferences aren't. OK. Let me try and explain to you a little exactly what each of these parts of an argument is. All right. Let's start with the premises. A premise is simply a fancy way of saying fact, okay? That is the facts that the author's bringing to support his conclusion, okay? To support his argument, all right? So if you like, we'll put next to the word premises here the word facts, okay? Premises are facts. The facts given as proof for what the author is trying to make you believe, okay? They are always written for you, always given to you in the argument, so you don't have to go searching. They're there for you. The other thing that is always written in the argument and basically given to you is the conclusion. The conclusion is the idea that the author is trying to make you believe, or alternatively, the step that the author is trying to get you to make. Okay? So a conclusion is that thing that the author is trying to make you believe, or that thing that he's trying to get you to do, all right? So that's the premises and the conclusions. And they always appear written in the text. There are two other parts to an argument, okay? The assumptions and the inferences. We're not necessarily going to go into all of this in depth today because we're only going to deal with the first two question types regarding conclusions and assumptions. So if you don't get everything immediately, don't worry. This is just a general overview. Let me try and explain an assumption. An assumption is the specific unstated premise that serves as a bridge between the facts provided in the argument and the conclusion that it arrives at. Okay. Let me try and put that in a slightly different manner. Okay? An assumption is something that's not written. It's a fact that is not stated. Possibly true, possibly not true. Okay? It's an unstated premise. And when you put it in there, okay, when you work out what it is, it should make the premises and the conclusions far more believable. It should make the, the thing that the author is trying to make you believe far easier to believe. Okay? It serves as a kind of bridge between the facts he gives and the conclusion he comes to. 
So if you're thinking of an assumption, it's basically an unwritten premise. Okay. And if you put it in there, everything would become far easier to believe. Okay. Last part of an argument is the inference. And that's any next step that must be true on the basis of the premises and the conclusion. Okay? It's a next step that has to be true if what you've just read is true. Okay? All right. Don't worry too much. We're going to go into this in far more depth later when we get to inference questions and assumption questions. Now, for any question type, there is a first step, and there is no avoiding it. The first thing you must be able to do is separate the premises from the conclusions. Once you have found the conclusion, you'll understand the argument totally. Okay? It will be far easier to understand the argument if you can tell the difference between what's fact and what's opinion. Always important. Okay? You must be able to, to separate at the beginning, as you are reading, the premises from the conclusion. Now. The way I think I can help you to do that is maybe putting on the board some clue words that can tell you that a conclusion is coming. Okay? So if you see these words, you know that whatever comes next is going to be a conclusion. All right? All right. Such as, um, should, must. Something like that is telling you what you should do. The word should simply means, this is what I think would be good for you to do. You should do this. So obviously, that's telling you that a conclusion is coming, because what's a conclusion? The thing that the author wants you to believe or wants you to go and do, all right? Other words that will help you out. Therefore, telling you a conclusion is coming. Consequently. Hmm. Shows that. Proves that. These facts prove that, whatever his opinion is, okay? Means that, okay, let me think if there are just maybe one or two more that could help you. Clearly, um, thus, another way of saying therefore, for this reason. It doesn't matter if you remember all of these. I'm not, I'm not requesting from you to write them down and memorize them, although they are quite useful words also when you're writing essays, okay? when you're talking about your own conclusions. These words, however, what you need to know is they are clue words that tell you that whatever comes next is opinion, what the author wants you to do or wants you to believe. All right, one more uh, set of words is necessary. And those are the clue words to tell you that you've got a fact, a premise coming. All right? Okay. 